Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hey, Carrie Gustros with RealAgriculture.com. We are here in a southern Alberta field standing with the corn above our heads. And I have here today with me Dan Foster with Pride Seeds. How's it going today, Dan? It's fantastic. I'm excited to be here. So can you tell me a bit about what we're seeing in this corn here today? Well, so we're, we're at the end of July here uh, in a cornfield planted on May the 13th in, uh, I guess we're in Bow Island and southern Alberta. So this corn is about two days away uh, from tassel or pollination. Uh, we've got some excellent heat happening now. So it's great time for this corn to be, be pollinating. Uh, corn looks really good. It's all under irrigation. My whole drive through here, seeing nothing but irrigation running. Uh, great for the corn. The heat's at 31 degrees today, I think, Celsius. Um, this is corn growing weather. So uh, this variety that's behind me, we're about two days. Uh, it's got two, three leaves, uh, two leaves still to push. So we'll probably push with this heat and nighttime temperature, a leaf a day. Um, some of the earlier varieties have already started to pollinate uh, in this plot. So uh, we're right in the heart over the next probably week to 10 days of, of the corn that I've seen so far all hit and tassel. So keeping in mind that's the stage we're at, what should producers be looking for when they're walking through the field right now, disease wise or anything else? So. So in Ontario or in the Midwest and the U.S., we'd be looking for leaf disease. At this time, we'd probably be doing some fungicide applications. Um, I haven't seen any leaf disease in here yet, but I do think that there is, uh, there's some good work being done with fungicides, especially for silage. Um, we've seen in, in the Midwest and in Ontario where we're seeing good results being sprayed with fungicides. So I know there is some growers doing some fungicides app, apps on corn. Um, tassel time is when you want to do it. The silks are out. That's when, uh, just like the other crops, you want to hit it right at pollination time. That's going to give us your best protection. Um, some of the other things going on in corn right now, once that grain fill starts, that's the time that it's going to suck up the most nitrogen it needs at that time. So making sure we're not suffering, and I haven't seen any corn suffering for nitrogen yet this year. Uh, through here, everything looks pretty good. We've seen a few spots where maybe it was a little tough going in. A um, few things with population, but overall I'd say this corn, if this weather can stay and the pivots stay on, we're, we're primed for some excellent corn pollination weather. And how does the stand look in areas around here as well? Stands are still great. Um, everything I've been in looks really good. We've been in some 15 inch corn, we've been in some 30 inch corn. Um, just like everywhere else, there's been some planters that are dialed right in perfect. And there's been some planters that mm, we need to do some work. We talk about it all winter long on the corn schools and different things. Work on your planters, get those things set up. You can still see some situations happening where you got some big gaps or you've got some doubles and then causing some late emergers. Anything else you'd like to tell producers when they're walking through the fields right now? So one thing I have noticed out here and when I was in AIM two weeks ago, um, weed control in Western Canada, we got to do a better job at it. Uh, we got to get some pre-weed pre, pre uh, control down on that corn waiting until that corn has weeds in it uh, to go spray a glyphosate, it's too late. Up to four leaf, you're losing half a bushel a day if there's weeds in there. So that is the sensitive time that we need to keep them clean. And we've seen a, a fair number of dirty fields uh, that really can affect that corn coming up. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? No, thanks for having me in Western Canada. I love coming out here to visit uh, all these corn here under irrigation, seeing the, the great job that uh, corn's doing out here. The growers are learning new acres every year. Pretty excited to keep watching that stuff grow. So with that, I had a blast.